Ex totally surprised, half surprised. Well, you kind of expected it. Was a, I, I flew a long way from Paris on Friday to come back. <laughs> uh, mostly because to honor History Channel, you know, I was nominated, so I wanted to attend. I really did, but it was a, it would have been a long plane ride back if you if you didn't, in a sense. I mean, your you know your career's not built around awards, but there's a moment in time where you do want to win. You know, you want them to call your name, but you also know the other guys are really good, and it just uh, it's a safe gamble. Like, I got a really good shot at this, and the category is really good. Yeah. You know, I, I came in a car tonight. It was 13. It was limo number 13. I thought, great. <laughs> great. I'm screwed. Yeah. Uh, but Golden you know, Globes the year 2013. Yeah. It's been a great year, and, 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 uh, and, and winning the Emmys was really important to me. I, 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 was, I, was, I was, like, really thrilled, and I think the, the opportunity here at the Golden Globes was to maybe finish the speech. You know, because everything's kind of short. Right. And so uh, you never quite say what you really, really want to. And uh, my mind went flooding back to the first time I was ever in that building, which was... Uh, How, what year was it, do you know? Store. I don't know, but it was... Uh, it was I, I don't know if you heard what I said out there. I did. At all, but it was, it was Gregory Peck's night. And I just, you know, watched, you know, the body of his work and was just kind of looking at the different guys in the room. And... Um, that's what I found myself thinking about. Had you done any major work yet? I think I had just done No Way Out, but it hadn't come out. Ah. You know, it hadn't come out. Uh, I had. So were people at least in the media calling you the next no, great I, no. punk? <laughs> what, what, you know, what happens in this, this town a lot of times is I had just done Silverado, so people thought, saw me in a very flashy role. But the question always comes, the next shoe that drops is, well, can he carry a movie? Right. Right. They, they, there's always these little things that you have to, you know, get, get by. And um, so Silverado was a scene-stealing type of movie. I'd been cut out of the big chill. So, you know, I was kind of, you know, going along. So, no, I was very content. And like I said, as I walked down that, uh, that carpet, there's not a single person looked at me. And I just kept going, and I saw the blitz of, of lights go. And all that came flooding back to me right then. You see some younger guys or new coming, you know, newcomer actors, and say, "Hey, you know, keep with it. You have words of encouragement for people. Yeah, where, do you, where are you at that? Are well, you at I that saw, point? Yeah, or? Listen, I don't, I don't try to give advice. I, I, you know, um, just work with Chris Pine. I'm working with a lot of the, these guys, and and uh, and they're going to have to make their own bones, and and that'll all be a result of how shrewd they are with the material that they do. You know how." How good can they, you know, make their script? How original can it be? And a lot of them are being, you know, put into sequels immediately. So, you know, uh, but there's really fine actors out there. Will you and, and Christine turn it up a little bit this evening? Yeah, yeah, I'll see some friends. It's a good night for me. It's good.